action. The title of my book is Ben by Morris, Gle Morris Gleesman, and the genre is a mix of realistic and historical fiction. I've read the whole series by this author, which was one, then, now, and after, and then is the second book of the series. Uh, this book was pretty easy for me to read because it was from a perspective of a young boy, so it didn't have any hard terms or anything. The main plot of the story is about a boy named Felix and a girl named Zelda who escape from the Nazi death camp and trying to find a new um, family to like hide safely in, and then they end up meeting a woman named Genia who risks her, risks her life to like keep them safe. I can infer that the author wrote this book to um, tell us about Nazi children that back then and to like entertain us. And here's a part that I like to read the book. I would step forward to try and tr I step forward to try and stop them both. I'm still moving forward when something else happens, something even worse. Inside the barn, loud and terrible, a gunshot. Then we froze. Me and Zelda and Cyril and the other boys. A gunshot can do that. Make your whole body so cold, go cold and rigid, even if the bullet doesn't actually hit you. Um, I think readers like me who don't enjoy reading historical and non-fiction books, but like mixes of realistic fiction, would enjoy reading this book. Any questions? Have you ever read uh, any other books related to this topic? And um, like no. Number of the Stars, or no, no, you might be interested in Number of the Stars. I mean, it's an easier reading level, but and then compare it to this. Um, then, has anyone else read any other books related to this topic? They would suggest yeah. Number of the Stars. Oh, yes, um, last week my dad was watching a movie about a, a, a Nazi camp, and it was pretty good, but it's just hey. very disturbing. It's a hard one to to know what to do with. All right, thanks, Chris.